Welcome to the Fat Cats Rugby Podcast, bringing you candid rugby conversations, great interviews and insights into Ugandan rugby, and a touch of rugby in Africa and the world over. Fat Cats Rugby Podcast is a product of Fat Cats Media Brand for all your audiovisual content needs and equipment hire. Hope you enjoy this episode. Um, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys. Uh, welcome to the Fat uh, Cuts podcast. This is our new episode. We're actually shooting. We're live now. Edwin, you're looking so sophisticated. Agadeo. Tell us, tell us. Ogadeo, <laughs> like Diddy is saying. Power of LeBron James. God James. <laughs> Respect his name. Hey. God James. <laughs> What's happening? God James. Leading, all-time leading scorer NBA. I would get number six, but man, I need a babe buy me a jersey. Valentine's gifts potential. But yeah, <laughs> ghost gems. So the Respect the name. You've had. So first of all, that jersey is for a babe. No. Of <laughs> <laughs> course. The jersey is mine. It's my jersey. Does it fit you? That, that, that's what I'm wondering. I could try. Let me try it out now. Uh, try it on, try it on. Let me do like a commercial before there's I try no, it out. No <laughs> uh, Ruben, what's popping, man? Nothing much. Just... Uh, Hearing that uh, he may have, uh, in a way, confessed that the jersey is not his, he borrowed it from one of his. Sure I'll is. stop there. But also, <laughs> I'm happy to have uh, to have these big men here. They had very, very big performances over the weekend, yeah. and I'm very excited to to see what conversation they have. They have game on pitch. How about off pitch? Do they have what to tell us? Yeah, and right sitting next to Edwin in a blue shirt. Is that blue? You know, colors are quite tricky. It's a blue shirt. It's a blue shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Color color and men know three colors. Red, yes. yellow, uh, it's, blue. <laughs> it's Simon Makumbi. What's his AKA? Mr. Mr. Sports Marshall? I don't know. What's <laughs> AKA? Main son. The other one. Which, which other one? Alkem what, what? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Simon Makumbi, uh, AKA yes. Mr. Okay. C. Rock Branch. Uh, guess, Good to have you here. here. Uh, good to have you as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we, man? Who are we? We are in royalty. We are presence royalty. of the royalty. the branch. No, see, yes. Ah, ah. That's the word. First, ask Ruben <laughs> to say that word. Hmm, don't go. You think I'm like you? <laughs> 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 yeah, but as you can see, the Fred and Winnie B and B always just keeping us very, very comfortable, very satisfied, very. Uh, I don't know what word can we use there. Good sir. Well taken care of. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's Valentine's, so make sure that you book and you get such services. This is just a little bit of a snack. And they're here to be eaten. Guys, dive in, dive in. Yeah, dive in. guys, dive in. It's not, these are not dive props. They're uh, here for, for consumption. Business. Didi, I can see you're very eager. No, Feel you know free. I'm on a dad, but I don't be a bad guest. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be a bad guest, so thank you very much. I'm the only guy who wants to eat. Yeah, so Dungu is actually taking his uh, his oh, fitness day, journey very fresh. serious now, yeah, apparently. Me. Oh, Didi, yeah, sure. You can have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever is facing Didi on the weekend in the scrum, this is his secret for this week. <laughs> and like they say, uh, ox regovat chew and share. Always say salads don't win scrums. So Didi just took that personally. Yeah, salads don't win scrums. This is what uh, big scrummers eat. Yeah. And courtesy of the Fred and Winnie Airbnb. Guys, it's a month of love. You always want that self-good treatment. You want to lie back, have good ambience. Ambience. The ambience. <laughs> the ambience yeah. question. Yes, the ambience question. So, Fred and Winnie Airbnb, not any other place. Good ambience, self, um, good uh, presentation from the ash chefs. Okay. We have pick up and drop off from anywhere in Uganda, such as the airport and, the, and all over. Transport uh, is available and stuff like that, yeah. Makumbi, tell us, how does it feel, in, how does it feel being Makumbi? <laughs> How does it feel like Makumbi? Yeah, I mean, you've just won uh, a man of the play of the match. Man of the match. Yeah, play of the match. In Uh, your 10 years of rugby. Yeah, it was a very emotional one. Uh, Having played uh, for Buffaloes, then Cobbs for 10 years, and I'd never gotten one. It was a special. It was actually a momentous 
So uh it was actually a very uh emotional. Uh it was my first time winning Man of the Match, uh after ten years of rugby. So you can see why I had I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but I was super, super excited and super, super happy. I thank the team for putting their bodies on the on the line. Uh, I also thank the coaches for pushing us left and right through the whole week, pushing us all season, uh, believing in us. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything to say, but just now I'm excited. I'm actually very happy. What's bang is Torodongo? See, I'll give you a story. <laughs> Bang me a story. Okay, then after okay. I'll, also, let's, let's... I'll ask Makumbi something. Then you'll also ask me to... I'll have a story for you guys. It's bad time. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. I have a story. Do you, know, do you know I'm supposed to be man of a match in a game? Against? In peace. And then what happened? What happened? confused you for him? No. What happened? The Otega brothers. Huh. Otega and Oketayot. Mm. Donald. Mm. Doni. Doni. Those yeah. guys. Those guys screwed me over. We were, we, were, we were playing at um, at Impis. We were winning that game. I even scored a try. I, I mean, like everything was going okay. Like when you know you're going to get a date on Valentine's Day. <laughs> then your dad says she's stuck at office. Now that's what happened. Don't, don't, Otega had, uh, there was a high tack on him. Penalty try. Then there was still okay, okay. Then Donny came on and then he just finished. Donny gave a drop goal from halfway. I think near I halfway. Donny near halfway, else. actually. Ruben will tell you the, the tears he still has because of that game. So, yeah. Donny, I am the near man of the match. Yeah, actually, me and me and Didi know ah, how, how much Donny has tortured us ever since. <laughs> from like from three. Um, there has been a story that has been coming up, and I'm going to. I'm going to make sure, you know, sometimes they say you have to sell yourself, right? You're in control of the narrative. Eh? In Form 3, <laughs> we, were, we were in Form 5. The, no, actually, we were in Form 5. We were we? Form 3 kids, Chaplain's Cup. <laughs> Chaplain's Cup is that inter-class tournament in Namiriango. Where it's like the, the second time you're saying this. Yeah, Ruben. I know. I have Bro. to tell people, man. Whenever anyone in our eyes is here, man, he has to repeat the story. It's no, I'm, you, know, you know, honestly <laughs> speaking, that thing still haunts me. But we lost to Form 3s in that final. And in which, in which class Donny, you? That, yeah? Your Form 5s? Yeah, we were Form 5s. Donny really changed the game. That's the Donny did not start. Keep in mind, yeah. um, his mother had come to school, I think a week earlier, and had told uh, the deputy headmaster that, do not allow this boy to play rugby anymore. I think he was True. not doing well with the grades and everything. But for some reason that day, we should have actually told uh, Langoya that this guy is on pitch. So they take him off. <laughs> Man. First half, we are in control of the boys. We are squeezing. We are squeezing. We are dominating. Second half, boy comes on. We actually first had a, a roar from the crowd. You know how Form 3s can be very loud. We were like, what's going on? Man, Seeing almost. some kid come on. Donny. <laughs> Donny. We would, we would dominate. We reach like the 5-meter uh, meter area of their, of their half. Somehow, there's a turnover. Then he kicks the us. Boots. You know those standard... Today it would be a 50-22. Back then it was just uh, finding the on and off. And we are pinned back into our own 22. So many times. Then there's one time he put up a, an up and under. And our winger fumbled with it. And their, their, their own chasing winger as well came. It was this, got, this old kid, no, Waiswa. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Waiswa, Waiswa was in Waiswa, that team, Waiswa. by Waiswa. the way. <laughs> He was a kiddo who was old. I, I, I think he was called, I think, Orenga, something like that. Anyway, that's not important. So, kids shocked us. They scored a try. Then, he, I think he added a drop goal or a penalty. They were at eight, eight points. We had not yet scored for some reason because these, these, these your forwards kept fumbling the ball every time we reached the 22. <laughs> then, from after they had scored the try and the penalty, guys tied bums. It was, we go hard now, guys defended for their lives. I think Syro only scored one penalty in that game. We had three points and we looked for the... That day... And Chimono I really to do this, us a solid. It, yeah? Chimono was the ref. He should have pushed that time some more. By the way, you guys, you guys just... <laughs> yes, you guys no. just did like us. <laughs> no love. But, 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 how can you guys lose to form threes? Uh -uh. 
Bro, who are Hello, elders and you days. left us high and dry. You know, the guys even who brought chaos at the hostel when ah, they when these guys they came for their goats. No, 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 no. They wanted parade it. But anyway. Uh-uh. Enough of those bad <laughs> memories. How can you beat us and you want to eat the goat as well? No, we are the elders guys, in the school. The guys, so we um, had to take the goat. You, you look so lost. Uh, you're in part of whatever is happening. These guys are way older than I am. So uh, I was not, I didn't find them in, in high school. So yeah, but I like listening to the stories. I want to, I want to ask Didi. Um, Didi, um, how was your rugby back in high school and how did you transition from high school rugby to club rugby? Did you play for any undergrade uh, or junior rugby club side? All right. Uh, I'll first start by saying I was lucky or unlucky to be in two of the greatest rugby playing schools in Uganda. That is Smak and Namiliango. So I'll say I learned my rugby from Smak, but I perfected it in Namiliango. I'm telling you, Namiliango was something else because after I finished my Olive, I had two options. Smack or Namiliango. I knew Namiliango was going to win. I had done my research. All the buddy guys were there. So, <laughs> I went to Namiliango. Things were hard. Like I said, there were old kiddos. The kids were in Form 4, but older. <laughs> old kiddos. I really competed for a number. There were kids like Kishato. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember ah, when I was Davi. in S1, Kishato was in Form 6. Bro. Oh, yeah. Bro. Kishato was, he was a big, fast man. So I can tell you, due to the competition that was there in Namiliango, you had to up your game. And Fredo was our coach, the current NT coach. And that guy, he was a form, he's, he was a prop at that time. He had just, so it would be like, I don't want to hear any excuses from any prop. I've been where you are and worse. So I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Coach Wadia, I think my high school rugby was going to stop in first term. Fred doesn't smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, leaving high school, um, okay. yeah, and leaving stuff high school, like that, what uh, were your best memories in high school? We have time, Didi, you know. Uh, my, okay, this. high school, <laughs> high school actually only have sad memories. I joined the Miliango to win cups. Well done. Unfortunately, I was in Amiango for only a year, and that was when Chimono was captain. I can tell you that was a black year. We were in every final. Mentioned the tournament, Namiango was in that final, but didn't win. Every. So high school, by the way, I didn't enjoy my high school experience. And when I got out of high school, unfortunately, like Donnie's parents, my parents weren't for rugby. Weren't for rugby. Actually, the first person to scout me outside high school would be Ruben there, when I was playing KCB 7s, I'll repeat that. I was playing KCB 7s. What, 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 what team? I was playing for UCU. Okay. Oh. And you're playing what? KCB 7s. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> it's always possible. Yeah. Moving on. So, playing KCB 7s, very effective. By then, I was a small boy, I could shift. So, Ruben is like, I know this guy, he's good. Let's go to Warriors. That was Warriors under Herbert Wafula. Now, I can tell you the introduction to club rugby was something else. Ah, I was, I think I was like 87 kilograms. They, were, they put me at prop and the dominant, in fact, every team had a badass prop. Adigas, Marshall, B.O.D. <laughs> all of them. Every big boys. I'm telling you, in my first season, BOD twisted my neck to a point whereby I think I'm taking a photo with my head up straight. When the photo comes out, you're like this. <laughs> Tell us of being a prop, man. <laughs> Just know, I, unfortunately, I really didn't get... I squeezed BOD towards the end of his career, but he was not BOD. He was now Brian O'Dong. Mm. Yeah. The mystery had gone. The, the, the one that I... The original was not that one. So, in fact, but, but in my club rugby, I feel bad that I never got to return the favor fully to certain players such as Marshall and Brian O'Dong. Because once I joined, my God, I wouldn't wish that. In fact, when I see these new, new props, yes, I squeeze them, but not to the level that I received when I had just joined. So, back to your question. So, I started playing real club rugby. By the way, parents, support your children. 
support your children when it comes to sports because now unfortunately mine were not for me so i started playing real rugby after in fact ruben after ruben had spotted me in ucu that was my final sem i started playing rugby after university and yeah from there warriors to pirates to winning our play of the match i call it did it, um it's a month of love G did you dedicate <laughs> your play of the match accolade to anyone? I saw photos of the guy sitting next to you at Alchemist uh, with a buddy. Uh, <laughs> did I see right? But I don't know. Makumbi. Yes, bruv, you saw right. Makumbi just rushed to his Siroc buddies. Yes. <laughs> the Siroc circle. The Siroc. They poured some, some uh, Siroc on him and gave him some good witches. Konosia, <laughs> yeah. Siroc Konosia. That's how you celebrate it. You guys Over tell us, did you, did you have Valentine's? Who is your Valentine? Who? I'm a gentleman, but I'm the first. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said it, but uh, nope. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not celebrating Valentine's. Oh, we shall be watching the Champions League. Well said, well said. That's the right answer. So guys, talking about Valentine's, I have a story, man. So, uh -huh. I believed... Man, where do I start from? So in high school, I remember... Uh, it was around first term. So, you know, people keep reporting on different dates. So I think one of my boys reported in the third week. And in that third week, there was... Um, so he reported on a Friday. And the following day, there was a function to Navisunsa. So, oh. my boy comes with chocolate. So, you see the size of this <laughs> of this plate? Yeah. There's Cadbury chocolate that's as big as that. Have you seen it? This Makumbi, mm, have you seen that? Seen chocolate? You love Only chocolate. At the airport. <laughs> so there was chocolate as big as that. So when my boy brought it, so this is three weeks into the term, and my boy just arrived that Friday. The following day, guys were going to Navisosa. Now I didn't, I was I was not going. Eh? I think it was a club that I was not part of. You know, there's like Youth Alive, uh, mm. those funny clubs in school. So I was not part of the club, so my boy comes with chocolate. So I came, checking on him, I'm like rapping, why did you come late and stuff? So he opened his box. I see chocolate. I'm like, bro, you came with that for yourself? He's like, yeah, it's mine. I'm like, can I buy it? He's like, fine. So I cashed. Of course, not as 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 to the amount he had bought it from home, perhaps because we we're in school and stuff. So I bought the chocolate. So one of my roommates. What, yeah. That was your boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inflate the price. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't buy it. <laughs> Ruben, listen. I'm not saying you. I'm saying your friend didn't buy it. <laughs> your parents bought it. That's why you got it cheap. Oh, all right. Go on. So I buy the chocolate. Now I knew. I had this bad day. I had a girl who was my friend in Navisosa. Your friend? So, yeah. Okay. Because you know, at that age, I mean, from six, how old are we? Like, like, <laughs> like <Bro>. 17. <laughs> Why are you in college, Speak bro? for yourself, bro. <laughs> I was in college. You were in a different college, bro. So, yeah, like 17. <laughs> Were you in Namiriango College or Namiriango? Man, he was in that Namiriango. The one with the R. The one with the R. The one with the R. So, yeah. I, buy the, I buy the chocolate and the following day, I get... So, they are like sticky notes. So, I get a sticky note. I, I put it in a mail. Then I get... They were like... You know those gift hampers? So, I give it to my boy. They were going to Namisunsa in the morning. So, I write a few words on it. I'm like, give it to this babe. So my boy is like sour. So man, I was happy. You know when you're content that you're sending chocolate to someone with some few words. Yeah. So my boy reaches Sunsas, asks for the babe. Yeah. Babe comes, delivers the stuff. He's like, Dungu has sent chocolate. Sent this package. This has sent chocolate. Send this package to you. Babe is like, thank you. Leaves. <laughs> you guys. So Fuck goes on, goes on, goes yeah. on. So my boy comes back to school. You know when the bus comes around around the time you're playing touch yeah, yeah, at the yeah. pitch. So when the bus comes, you just wind up. You just follow it up to like DH up there where it parks. <laughs> <with his guys. laughs> and now the funny thing is, eh, back in the back in school, we used to get food in the morning because they would prepare very nice food for the guys going out on a function. Yeah. And you'd put it on your bus plus the drinks. And now here is the twist. We'll take the food to like Sena Magunga on Navisunsa and come back again to school with it instead of eating it while we are there. Because I don't know, we'd be shy to eat it. No, they, eat, the they usually eat the girls' food. The sharp ones, the others are shy. So, my boy comes back. So I rush to the bus. 
My boy is not amused. <laughs> you know, my boy is not amused. So I, I come to the bus, I'm looking for say, I'm looking for Edwin. Hey, Edwin, uh, Edwin is coming out. out. So I'm like, Edwin, man, welcome back. <laughs> so I'm like, eh. Edwin looks deflated, man. He's like, thanks, man. So I'm like, aha, okay, aha, how did it go? So I drop the question. Did you see the babe? Did you give her the chocolate? Did you give my He's friend? like, yeah. What did she say, man? Do you have a cheat for me? What did she say? Did she write anything? Bro, nothing. He's like, man, <laughs> let say thank you. Uh -huh. Left. Bro, I waited. For mail. For, for mail. <laughs> so, where are the art room, man? Eh? You know it's pin up a list of guys of that much received mail. Every day at 4.40, after classes, I would go to check on the mail list. I'm not there. Dungo, what if she sent the mail, but... Must be in a million good now. She goes. That's <laughs> <laughs> petty. That's petty. <laughs> so guys, in that day, actually realize that man, it's good to focus on yourself, man. At times, if I had eaten that chocolate with my boys, <laughs> was, the babes scrammed me, bro. <laughs> in that day, I'm like, so that's the story I had, man. But Self love. <laughs> legend, like, legend has it that Dung is still going back to Namibiango to, to check, <laughs> check for mail. And, and anyway, for that home, that true. Uh, how is it? Because I understand you're an entrepreneur. How is it juggling rugby, entrepreneurship, making ends meet, and stuff like that? And what advice? What words do you have for fellow youths out there playing rugby? Tell us. Uh, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky because you have to make some sacrifices. Eh? Uh, I remember when back then, when I started rugby at school, at, at university, uh, I was doing evening, and uh, you had to sacrifice a class yeah. to come and to come and train. Yeah. Then Saturday evening guys always have classes from seven to seven, so I had to sacrifice also that. So it's a bit tricky. It depends on how. Okay, <clears throat> sorry to say this, but uh, a friend told me rugby is for bright people, so. If you're not quite intelligent, you can't balance. So uh, when it comes to, I was just comparing classes and uh, rugby. So when it comes to business, uh, first of all, you're supposed to prioritize, uh, have a schedule. Know when you're supposed to do this and this and this and this. So with, uh, with my kind of work, I always have someone that I've designated and I'm like, you know what, this order goes Tell here and here. your work, man. Let them know. Let them oh, know. Uh, Simon Makumbi, I run Sports Mansion, I deal in uh, uh, jerseys mostly. That's football, rugby, Formula One, basketball. Hold on, James. <laughs> Look at the material. Look at the material. Hold James. Hold ah, he's actually James. one of my biggest clients. Yeah. He introduced me to the whole farm. <laughs> I'm actually very, 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 very honored. You need, to get, I'll send my you need to get him the number six as well. The number six Lebron is coming, I think. He's so 2021. <laughs> Edwin, you should look for you should look for a girl. Uh, to oh, damn, damn! I should look for. Oh, yeah. Damn, these shots. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Can I say something about Makumbi's business? Yeah. Uh, now you see, big boys. I don't know the fashion industry doesn't like us. <laughs> That's the truth. So there are very many people in the business of selling jerseys and what. But I'm telling you, prior meeting Makumbi, a girl would convince you it's going to fit you. You put on that thing and it's a crop top. <laughs> I can this so, uh, my big boys, if I know the struggle, stop struggling. I'll let your boy. Yeah. He'll sort you. I'm actually very, you, man. Uh, very, very humble. Just uh, like Edwin, I. Especially yeah, it's a big uh, boy thing. Me <laughs> time, man. Uh, especially ah. the guys, the guys ordering our uh, basketball, food, uh, basketball, rugby, and Formula One. Eh? Uh, the big boys, I'll handle you. Football is a bit tricky. I think all the guys yeah. are. Uh, Makumbi, what's the biggest lie you've heard about yourself? Huh? The biggest lie? Lugu, I think we're going a bit far. <laughs> yeah, before we get into the biggest <laughs> lie, yeah. let us first get to know about his background. We already know what Didi's background is mm. um, in yeah. regards to rugby. Yeah. Now, uh, maybe uh, Makumbi, you can tell us how you got into rugby and uh, up to this point, maybe. There's a name I'm expecting to hear. Oh. If you don't mention them, I have a feeling okay. I know that name, but let's let's yes, let him yeah, speak. Sure. Uh, starting out rugby, I actually enjoy saying this story. Because starting out rugby, I was a football person, but I realized it was not, not my thing. So I went to swim. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so uh then I then I went to the swimming to the swimming team. I was doing well. 
The school had a pool. Bro, bro. Ah. You must still have struggles. Yeah. But while well, you were there, were you an international student or a national? Yeah, no, I was a national. What are you trying to say? No. Like, but so, now he's at zero. You see, he's dripping, man. How she could lift his legs and just do this. Amazing. So, uh, in my S1, I think I went to my first uh, swimming uh, tournament as number two okay, out of three, eh? but I got uh, my first certificate, so I dropped football. So I tried to move into swimming, but I was looking for something that was going to give me that masculine, not the masculinity, popularity. Yeah, you like butala? Yeah, yeah I right. wanted some butala. <laughs> you now I know why this guy goes for brunch, man. But you know my friend gets like, do good cases with brunch, I bro. I see my friend going for brunch. My friend has invited me for brunch, eh? The guest, but then he's going to invite this guy for brunch. Did you not you invite him for a particular brunch? Because I'm going to call him, but... He has always tapped on me to go for brunch. Edwin, why don't you go? I don't have the clothes for brunch, man. I don't have the clothes for brunch. People at brunch are too fresh, man. No, let's go shopping at the end of the month. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I got you. I got you. I got you, fam. We go. But guys, we should make a, we should make an appearance at the bride. We go to the bride. We should go. Yeah, 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 yeah. As podcasts. Yeah. As podcasts. Yeah. 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 Even did they have been to brunch? Man, bro, what's up? Focus on my. Let's make a brunch, you know, so we could choose one that suits us clearly. There's that one of Makumbi for of drip popularity. Be easy. But guys even record videos, take photos. I've never seen Makumbi in those photos. Energy good Makumbi. Guys are bright, man. <laughs> <laughs> Put our boy. Because we have to see him. Because he's representing us. Anyway. Can we let Makumbi finish his story? Be easy. Be easy. Be easy. You should, you should first go check on the ribs. On the ribs. Yeah. On the ribs. No, no, not on the ribs. Yeah. Uh, maybe the chick replied. By the way, uh, are you feeling hungry? I'm, bro, I'm having a good time. I'm having yeah, a just good to time. maybe before more, Makumbi right? continues, just to let uh, the people know that yeah. uh, last week we talked about the ambience that uh, Mr. Dungu was talking about in regards to Valentine's and taking a baby girl to uh, to Chad Dondo. Many people had mixed feelings over the course of the week about that. Uh, and Chad Dondo decided to send us some ribs just to prove a point. So we are expecting ribs anytime now. On the table. Yeah. <laughs> As for uh, Dungu, he was also lucky enough to get a shout out, a potential Valentine's date. We are going to keep tabs on that and see and how. Say hi to her. Yeah. You can say and hi you know to her. I... You guys check, it's not catfish. Shock me, shock me, shock me, shock me, shock me. Edwin Jans, Edwin Bill, I want to tell you. I mean, I mean, what did you say? We hope it's not a catfish. Now I can't even say hi to her. But say hi, say hi. You might be there and it was Edwin. I said Twitter. The girl who uses the Twitter handle of Olavli. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, really? That's right. So, yeah, Olavli said, if that girl stands you up, Remember, there was... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Olavli is like, Ahmad Dungu, take me. So, Olavli, I'll, I'll keep you posted, bro. Yeah, we shall just have the... Bruv. We'll just yeah. have the, 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 the tweet run on the screen, just for people to see. And again, just also fact check that it's not... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tired of being... Uh, it has happened to before. Too, eh? No, I'm not being catfish, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, last week, someone was supposed to come join me on the microphone. They didn't. Then your mail story. The mail story, oh, man. That's why I, I chill out. Oh, has any of you guys ever received flowers? Did you have you received flowers before? I don't know if you have such here. Man, but could you to switch? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Ruben, you look like you, you give babes flowers. I told you last week, if the babe likes flowers, you give the babe flowers. How much do flowers cost? You know, actually, flowers are very though. affordable. They're very affordable. So I didn't know. I didn't know, yeah? Mm. So, I said, the real flowers, not plastic ones. Yeah, legit flowers. You know, so, you know, as you enter for much now carry for it was shop right mm. so just like on your right as you're entering there's people selling flowers are they plastic no they're not bro. they're <laughs> fresh bro they're fresh i promise <laughs> you can't relate to that shit. <laughs> anyway <laughs> guys, get those guys, guys, let's let me over digress let's let makumbi uh, finish and yeah. then we go on to the let's next thing yeah. uh, okay uh my journey started uh one evening one sunday evening after playing football we 
were actually leaving when the rugby guys were coming in. So they told me, ah, Makum, you've been promising us. Because in my history, I told them, I'm going to show up and start training with some other boy of mine. But uh, we foxed them. And foxing them, the guys came back. I think they had won uh, tens. There's some tens they won in 2009. I think they're being promoted to the big league. So we foxed, they won a medal. So I saw a kid in S1 having a medal. Now I don't have anything. I'm like, what will I show my kids growing up? <laughs> so uh, in third term, senior three, that's 2009, I, uh, I I trained. First day, uh, first day I got concussed. Wow. Hey, concussed. I, the, I was tackled by two guys. Then this, this, the other week, uh, Joshu took me out. I was out for two weeks. Then uh, I'm, I'm actually very humbled for Impiza. Eh? That same year, they came and did a solid. They, we, we had a rugby clinic with them. We had a game against them. Uh, there was a coach, I forgot, he was called Mikey. If I remember, Mikey was he was he was playing for Impiza. Then he played for the Kenya national team. So he came. T- they're taking through us. There's a way they're giving us attention because we, we didn't have so many numbers. Uh, so now in my S4, we joined uh, the league. The first game we lost to London College, but we celebrated more than the guys who had actually won. The, the London, London College games were played. The of a guy receiving a gift. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The, London, the <laughs> London College games were, were confused. Who has won? The reason why we were celebrating that much is it was, it was, our, first, it was our first game. And everything was exciting. Then when we were playing Namiliango, uh, that's when we had uh, Philip, Bijik, and Rony Musoki. But you still come received. In. Yeah, we received. Yeah, we received. We received. That <laughs> we Even received. after source, we gave them. <laughs> <laughs> but Ruben, uh, sorry, Edwin. Yeah. We're the only guys who beat Lango College in your year, 2010. You guys went for Valentine's? Yeah, we went for source, uh-huh. and then, then we got a walkover, I think. No, you were beaten. No, we, lo- we lost We lost the mm. first leg. Uh-huh. Then second, second leg, leg didn't come. Yeah, so, didn't come. So that's how we had one defeat in that group. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so my rugby journey, I think, actually started in 2010. So we played our first semi final in our debut year. We got washed by Namibia, by Budo. It was embarrassing. We promised them we shall give them a treat. And uh, we started in sevens, but Namilang was so dominant. Uh, I, would, I would like to acknowledge Philip Okorach, Reni Musoki, and Bijik. They introduced me to Chadondo. Uh, through Philip, I get chills, mm. man. so Philip, through Philip through Christine sit on our pod sometime. Mm. through Christine uh, she was our coach for stallions so I said playing for stallions in 20, 2010 to 2013 uh, now I think my best year was 2011 like we had almost everything you have Ivan Magum you have Philip Okorach you have Ronnie Musoki you have BG then we had the Kenyan guys at the wing now let me tell you something about 2011 <clears throat> as a forward all I have to do is <laughs> tackle. As soon as the ball gets to uh, our scrum of Foki and he passes it to Ivan Magom, all of us would stop. And we start describing what's going to happen. So the <laughs> pack will just turn and be like, Magom is going to step. Then he gives Rony Musoki. He's going to stool this guy. Then he gives Bijik. Bijik is going to run across. Once the ball reaches Philip Okorach, we just count how many guys are going down. I think he's going to start step like three. The time even it reached, eh? Our sports master will come and be like, you guys, stop playing around. You boys are busy working for you. You're telling stories. We're on pitch. You're just jazzing. We're just jazzing. Like, once the ball leaves the park like this, all, all we have to do is just defend. Once the ball leaves the park like this, the boy which is Ivan, ah, story, yeah, be like, bro, bro, bro. Because yeah. there's no way. That ball, that ball wouldn't, wouldn't get tracked. That ball would reach the trial line. I, no I have a story about that. I remember... <laughs> <clears throat> when we, we played we played Hannah in look. the semi final. Yeah. Independence Cup. No, 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 no. The Independence Cup is a different at story. Mm. Actually, I think I should follow the Independence Cup after this story. So we played at college. Um we reached the semi final. At that time it was called Coca Cola Sevens. Yeah. Mm. And as Diddy said, I think our year was just cast it was like a black black year. We'd all reach the finals. I think, I think that's the only final we won. Yeah. At Namiliango. Other than that, at Smack we lost. Smack. Beat us in the final. In fact, we lost at Smack for the first time. Those guys yeah. had a boom yeah. roasting yeah, yeah. session. Yeah, after. The, yeah they, they, we, we lost to Smack for the first time in like years in the final. 
Usually it was like, I think it was at that time it was four in or five in or I think something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so we play, we play Hana. It's a tight game. You know Hana with their sevens guys. Ronnie Musoke is on the wing. I don't know if Bijik was there yet. He was Bijik there. Was, he was there. Because I don't remember him. He was at well. two. <laughs> I, remember Philip, I remember Philip, Bijik, then I remember Goshu. Then there was uh, some guy called Jay. Sido. Uh-huh. Who used to be a flyer. Then Philo would be at the wing. That time I think Philo was playing center and then yeah, and then and then this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then then this there was this moment in the game <clears throat> when um so I think we're leading like four one or something. Three one. So Philip gets the ball and there's so much space. So on the wing it's Justin, so the guy is coming and like, yeah, so like, oh, okay. <laughs> now the, the, the Titans are going to clash. So big on big. You know, Chimono was like John Cena in high school, eh? Like I everyone used to respect the guy. When, whenever Chimono would walk, everyone would just give way. So now me, I'm the guy who is trying to drift behind Chimono. is like, I got, I yes. got this. First clapped. No, I never had. Properly. I think the guy was saying, watch my back. She was like, he was doing like this. No. Now me, I thought he meant, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. was saying like, be What's calm. That? He's going to cut back. You smash. So now, Philip gets the ball, gets the ball, and bah! She went to his up and down. <laughs> In front of, you know that staircase of Namiyango, everyone yeah. saw that thing and they're like, so they've never seen their superhero get that off Man. his shoes. Usually he does that when he's like, guys are just flying and they're trying to chase him and they can't catch him. So that ha- that's what happens. So the guy comes, then he comes in my gap. I'm there, the one who is chilling on the wing. <laughs> chilling, chilling, <laughs> chilling in the middle. I'm like, ah, Chimono is going to tackle this guy. Chimono is a bad guy. My friend. Just Philip. Well, yeah, you haven't even reached the 22. Just give up. You know, this thing where you chase and you're like, okay, try yeah. and chase him until it goes and converts from the side. From, yeah. Under the poles. So that was my first experience with Hannah. But we beat them for and two. what did guys say? What did this? Something with people in the stands. So guys in the stands. I give you a perspective. <laughs> a perspective from the stands. First of all, you need to know that when you're tired, you hear what you want to hear. <laughs> 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 but honestly, eh, from the stands, we all saw Chimono trying to, you know, this way you shepherd in defense and you're, you're marking your man. Then he had this signal he gave Edwin. Like this. No, Edwin, I think thought they told him to chill. Can <laughs> <laughs> I be honest with you? I also thought he was like, chill. Honestly, I got first this. in the stands, that's what we all thought. We we're like, you know, usually Chimono is like, I got this, and, and we know we don't, had no chanting his name. Chimono. Yes, Chimono, Chimono. we had never, <laughs> ever, ever seen Chimono miss a taco for the time we had been there. <laughs> now <laughs> they stepped just in Chimono. Namiliango College went silent. silent. Like a graveyard, it was so quiet. People were in shock, still trying to process and everything that was happening. Bad. Like it was bad. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> like, then is part two. Then part two was in Ginger. Oh yes, Independence Cup. Independence Cup. These, these are the guys who are supposed to play. Actually, we came. We came who to play they? opposition. Another start pointing fingers. We okay, came to play as go. opposition for one week <laughs> or what? Was it like one week or something? Then guys are like, I don't know who said it. Some weird reason they're like, man, you guys come and go to Ginger. So we go to Ginger, damn waters. We are there, we are chilling. These guys play one game. So when I was like, ah, we are going to play. So we balance the thing. I think when I remember the final, it was me. Uh, what's this guy? Sedo, Sedo, yes, uh, Roy. Then uh, Ar- Aredo was the nine. Dexter was the ten. Chimono was the center. Yeah. Then what's this guy? Opio. Opio, yeah, was uh, the winger. Yeah. So we play. We 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 first suffered with smack in the semis, and we won on because Dexter could was the only one who could kick his kick. Otherwise, <laughs> things had jammed. No, Sedo, Sedo squad. The was it Dexter? Yeah, Sedo, 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 Sedo squad, the winning one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So now reach the final. These guys kick oh, off. What? Yeah. Magom with his deep kicks. What? We play. Ha. Then problems start. I don't know why you guys got it tasty from. They just started squaring try after try. And they were hitting us hard. Yes. They were hit. I remember Goshu banged me on the wing. Yes. He banged me from this side. When I got up, I was like, man, my hand is messed. <laughs> 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 like this whole place was paralyzed because, man, 
the guys, there is even that picture I have where they posted, I think it was put on forum, God rest his soul, repeat. He's the one who posted that picture. We are trying to tackle the guy. There was a guy you could not go low for. You had to just grab his shirt, what then roll down. On, what was your hat in, in Hannah? Wow, it was the babes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that. Because even that time when we defeated them. I think Hannah had the hardest babes in high school at the time. Uh, <laughs> okay. Most especially, uh, why we used to play like that? Eh? We used to play with, uh, at most, we had two subs. Even during that final, uh, most of us were new. So they just told us, just guys, just sit and watch. So all we did was pass water. And you'd be like, so, so sometimes we would even provoke Joshua and you'd be like, hey, that guy, that guy is abusing your mother. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That's, that's yeah. like, if you remember those sevens of uh, Budo, when he stooled Kasim, mm. some guy went and told him, man, he has abused your mother. Mm. Bro, bro. You can't <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, there's now this funny thing I had. Guys, don't shoot me. Okay. <clears throat> so you see how you want to get so much aggression before a game, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I had guys first watch thing here. Uh, uh. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That's what we had in high school. Guys are just in class with club guys. Guys who play club rugby. Right? <laughs> but to get more aggression, first watch thing here. <laughs> <laughs> Microphone? Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Mm. That you can repeat. This <laughs> <laughs> thing of. You see, these guys are talking about aggression and all that. Uh, so when we're in high school, guys used to say that uh, club rugby guys are so aggressive. But to get that aggression so fast during the game, in the dressing room, they would first watch the Yingi. <laughs> what is the Yingi? Don't act like you don't know. No, I want that <laughs> <more. laughs> <laughs> No, but I understand what, what Makubi was saying. Now for yeah. us, let me tell you. You guys, first of all, you wanted a trip to go to Jinja. You wanted to go and chill. Then you, all of a sudden you got, you got, you got into responsibilities that were not yours. We were supposed to go there Thank and learn you. the hard way, but I'll tell you in that final. Mm. Even when they looked at us and like, man, who wants to get on? Guys didn't want to get on. Yes, this was like, bro, that that final was was what? so lopsided. Uh, having Magom, Philip, uh, Ronnie Musoke, Bijik, Branko. Ah, uh, uh, you guys. Uh, you know, it was they reached a point. Ourselves. They reached a point, and Ivan Magom, just out of jokes, he just took a drop goal and it entered. Like, that is how they were not on any pressure anymore. Magom, anymore. Here, Magom was saying that um, he played his best rugby ever in high school because he believes that's when he was fittest and yeah. injury-free. Because he said, simple, I was talking to Mr. Bizimana recently, and by the way, we'll host him soon, because school rugby is happening, we'll host Mr. Bizimana and another surprise guest. So, Mr. Bismana told me, um, in high school, kids are having a good diet, yeah? They don't have all this junk. It only comes in once in a while, okay? They are yeah. playing, every after class, they are sloping down to the pitch, they are yeah. running around, That's true. working on the basics of their game, a kid will get a cold kick, Monday to Friday, Saturdays when they are having games, or even when the term starts, the games start after like three weeks. So, they are so fit, well rested, they don't have so much influence from beds and stuff like that. At the time, alcohol and drugs, nah. So they play crazy rugby. Didi, what yeah. do you think has been your highlight so far in your rugby career? What do you look back and you're like, it's crazy? Uh, of course, every pirate who has done that time, like me, will just say one thing. The treble season. Tre pirate's treble season. Pirate's treble season. For me, I'll call it treble season because I didn't play sevens. <laughs> <laughs> But outside that, honestly, I think ah, I was big, I was fast. I was every, for me, that was my highlight in my rugby total. Because the team, we had a new coach who had new methods. I wasn't for them, by the way, because it involved the big boys running like crazy. I don't subscribe to that. Why well, did subscribe to that? So. For me, that has been my biggest highlight in the, in my career. But uh, let's see. Outside that, I'll say this recent accolade. Because yeah. that's that your first man of the these... match. I'm sorry. Is that your first man of the match? No, uh, it's actually my second. The first one. In fact, I missed man of the match so many times. When I was still new in Pirates, I'm sorry to say, but it's like as if those guys just crammed them. 
who are the stars? It was either Chano or Ivan taking man over. Much and you're like, yo, haven't you seen me? I'm a joke. That's why I see <laughs> one of the things that I said is like they don't recognize not all heroes wear caps. Yeah. The props go do their what they do and what they're supposed to do. Liking and retweeting yeah. That. So yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly <laughs> speaking, and the I think the prop who used to receive accolades was BOD. Mm. Outside BOD, I don't... Well, outside BOD, Fred Mudola, one time was top scorer in the league. Wow. Which league? If I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> there was a season where he was top scorer. I remember those days when I used to watch when we were still in school, high school. Fredo, Fredo was a solid prop. So when he was telling you that he was, he was not lying, was yeah, he was not Saudi. The guy could also, he was also scoring tries. I think he was either tied top scorer or he was in the top five. But See, I recall guys, him being top those scorer. Those guys won the 2007 car rugby Africa championship. They beat, they beat, they beat everyone, bro. They're crazy. They're crazy. Well, back. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah. So this accolade really meant a lot to me because one, this was Bobby's 100th win. On the technical bench, it was my hundred match with him on the technical bench. Okay. Ah, that's your hundred pirates game. No, that's under Bobby. Under Bobby. Okay. How many pirates cups do you have at the moment? <laughs> you keep stats. I actually no. wanted to find out uh, when you guys were counting those hundred wins and hundred games under Bobby. Okay. Who's keeping those stats in it's a country Bobby. where we struggle so much to keep stats? I'll, I'll be honest, Bobby is, you know, I keep making fun of him. I keep on telling him those are not stats, those are your personal notes. But <laughs> in that book of his. In that book of his. And now that we have all these companies There's that one, have come yeah. up yeah. videographing everything, if you're ghosting, he'll tell you how many tackles you missed, how many times you are offside. So guess what? There's a player I know in Ugandan rugby who does their stats. That's Justin Kimono. If you've looked at how really? Cops uh, mm. celebrates his birthday, uh, they include games played, try scored. Justin keeps his stats. And he has been doing it from when, I remember when Justin hit the 100th mark, a century, his century game for Cops, I think it was against Pirates. Right, 2017. 2017, yes. yes. They clapped for they made a turn for him, clapped for him, got his accolade for reaching that milestone. And yeah, that's Justin Chimono for you. Justin, Justin keeps records that and i do agree and it keeps many other things as a story when we went to nakuru <laughs> so we went to nakuru was it nakuru for east african games yeah oh and he, that that dark as 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 did he said it was a dark year we really went we really went on all tournaments trying to get something so we reach reach i think Kisumu. so we had a stopover for lunch yeah but she wanna being the keeper that he is Decided to keep some food because he knew <laughs> we might reach there and there is no supper. We may reach late, bruh. When we reached Nakuru and they were still organizing the githeri and whatever, man pulls out a burger and he starts eating. <laughs> so when you tell me <laughs> from back in the exhibited these habits back in the day, so if you could keep a burger at that time, I'm not shocked you can keep stats. Ruben, I have a question for you. Um, see, we are growing old, man. How old are you? Like, like 40? <laughs> <laughs> when you ask a joke, Let's go with that. Say, so I imagine you're like 35. So, the uh, thing is, what's that one thing you want to be alive to witness in Ugandan rugby or even international rugby? <laughs> international rugby is about England. Joker <laughs> 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 is sharp. He's how he has plugged in yeah, England. Yeah, anyway, you okay. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of things. Um, um, from a, an international point of view, really, I have, for the like past two years, I've taken a keen understanding and, and a hunger to learn about sports management and marketing in general. Uh, not only rugby, but all other different kinds of sports. And I feel like we need to... Uh, go away from our rigid ways as rugby. Yes, we have traditions that make the sport unique, but the sport even globally is is suffering financially. Clubs are uh, claiming bankruptcy. They have so much debt. They're dissolving. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, if a team has the capacity of 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 I don't know reaching certain heights financially, why are you putting caps on them? 
Why are you putting caps on their players? <laughs> the Saracens <laughs> players. Saracens players. Yeah, Saracens players. <laughs> yes, why? I mean, if we are trying to progress, and you, you guys, I don't know if you've had stories of rugby players retiring, and they are broke. They have nothing to do. I agree. Why guys, are we not letting these guys earn the money? Internationally. Because these are guys, see, Razi Erasmus, so Razi is a rugby genius, and I've watched the Chess in the Sun documentary, <clears throat> so yet to watch, I've watched clips of uh, Rassi, Rassi the film, but if you look at what Rassi did leading up to that 2019 victory, it was more of the guys, uh, him get, tapping into their strengths, their passions, and their heart, their belief. Because he would uh, just get the chart, right, 1 to 15, 1 to 15, yeah, and include the 23 starting. So I would look at a guy like, say, he's like Colissi, number six, yeah. You're playing against a guy like Tom Curry. <laughs> you get that kind of thing. <laughs> Tells him, Colissi, you grew up with your grandma. Huh? You used to eat a potato for supper. Hey, Colissi's story is very Colissi's sad. Colissi's story is crazy. You used to eat a potato for supper. You used to pee on bed. You went to the <laughs> worst schools. You're from Zui Day. It's that mm. pover- impoverished town. You, get, you didn't have the best opportunities. Now you have a chance to prove yourself. You have a chance to prove yourself on the world stage and never be doubted. If you miss a tackle, that's fine. What happens next? You get. Yeah, so what was I coming back to? I don't know what <laughs> you were going to say. It was a good management. And game management and yeah. um, retiring after. So he told guys, because mm. I remember 2019, uh, South Africa had so many issues because of the documentaries I watched and stuff. So they had an, an, an unemployment gap and percentage of up to 32 percent so 32 percent of the citizenry in sa was unemployed that's crazy yeah. and about 65 percent of the national cake was going to the halves the people who have and that's that's why so he told these guys uh there's a lot of strife happening back home don't comment don't say anything it's not your, your time to inspire is that the time the of xenophobia is it was it xenophobia? yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so he told guys time. Win the World Cup, that's when your voice will be heard. Look at all those World Cup winning guys from SA. Look at where they are now. Tell me if any guy is grassing. And in a way, he, pre- he prepped them. Told them, guys, the big contracts are coming. This is coming. Learn how to use that. Right now, as we speak, police have just been in uh, Germany. But I keep tabs on that guy. Scram me. But Kali, continue with your jazz. Before we even continue, have we got an R. Raymond Rule retweet yet? Yeah, he's coming, he's coming through. Raymond Rule, man, I'm calling you out for another time. Where are South African rugby anymore. players screening you a lot? Ah, go your jersey, England, no, don't shout. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't bore me. Anyway, um, I don't know why, yes, we, we are, the sport is unique in its own way. On the pitch, we are trying to transition into so many things. Why also off-pitch in management and marketing of the game are we not adjusting? Why are we not copying? I mean, the English, even the English Premiership, which is ideally the richest uh, league in the world, is having issues. Uh, the Rugby Premiership. Why can't it copy the England Premier League? Why can't we try to at least set those structures to so, go towards so, that direction? So you want to live in a time where you see rugby get to that point? Yes. Edwin, what, how about you? Where do you... So what is that milestone in rugby you want to witness in Uganda and internationally? Uganda... I want to play Ch- Justin Chimono's testimonial. I think that will like, be the last like time. Like Kaunda and did. Like that, will be the last time, that will be the last time I'll play. Testimonial? Yeah. What do you, you recite? Or no, it's testimonial like when he's, when he's retiring. Uh, and, and you have like a game. Usually there are those games oh, we have here. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was a commentary. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no, no. Okay. So we'll have uh, what to step on that. Internationally... Um, I would, I, would, I, would, I would like to watch a World Cup. Sevens. Sevens? Looks, yeah, looks like the vibe is, is bloody. It's <laughs> crazy, crazy. Fifteens, man, I have to have money. Eh? <laughs> so staying there for one month is not cheap. But yeah. but Sevens is the affordable one. So I think watching Sevens World Cup would be a good start. Simon Makumbi, hmm. do you see yourself going for Rock Nation branch? <laughs> to chill with <laughs> you have to leave, you have to chill the branch stick branch guy so we are elevating from alchemist so he loved those jumpers you see casito massa and munyani always have those jumpers 
from Kings Park to where? To Chile, to Hong Kong, <laughs> to Kawapala, <laughs> to Mboyogere. So Makumbi from Hana Mixed to Buffaloes to Cobbs, Alchemist, and now chilling at Sri Rock Nation. But tell us, man, I'm just joking. Anyway, um, yeah, I think what you guys have spoken about is proper. I, I think with, with local, I would not even be too overly ambitious. I would just want us, man, to get our structures right. These boys put their bodies on the line. Can they have some proper medical? Man, I, I always tend to remember what happened to, to Marvin Odong Aye. and how embarrassing mm. that was at a national level. Mm. We are starting to fundraise mobile money, send what, what. You want someone's son to come and play for you and you're not able to cover their medical costs. And this is just one among many that went under the radar. So just those things. How do we get to the level where medical is covered? Boys can be able to have a, a proper life of rugby so yeah. they can focus. That is the next level we need to start thinking of. Because you don't expect Didi to come from work. He has been stressed with work. And then all of a sudden you want him to give you 150% against guys who wake up, have a gym session, have a mid-morning session, have an afternoon session uh, almost every day of the week. But anyway. Yeah, uh, Makumi and this guy should tell us as you look for the uh, fixtures for the weekend. Uh, uh, first of all, coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about the ribs, Edwin. I don't know if the delivery guy is taking long. Simon, uh, our rugby at least going semi pro, semi pro, semi pro. Then, uh, us having medical insurance That's big. because I believe, I, I believe in, in Africa, we may be the most talented, uh, in Africa, in Africa. We may, we can't count. We don't Africa. count South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we just want to talk about South but Africa. I, mean, I believe we're the most talented country, but we're just unlucky. Our structures, facilities are lacking. Uh, the ministry is not giving that too much support to the sports. So I would love to see our sports going semi pro, having medical insurance, having companies coming on board the way Kenyans do. Uh, that would be that would be amazing. That would be wild. Then, uh, of, go ahead. Sorry mm, to interrupt. It's okay. Then I would also love us to win uh, the plate, the World Cup sevens. The plate. Yeah. From the ball upgrade. This guy talking about companies coming tapping in. Um, okay. So I've seen schools rugby. So you will see Jessa tapped into King's College Budo. So they are now. So formerly, when you guys played, and when I was in high school for some time, Brookside, which is a Kenyan dairy factory sponsors jerseys for all the teams participating yeah. in the east african games now i can't speak for other schools but i can now speak for schools i know i'll first speak about namilango college the namilango jersey is made by obis credit all of us are obis here uh, there is a forum guys contribute and there are obis in the states that brand that jersey so it's made from the states and brought all the way to this side yeah so Jibu is actually coming on board as a partner for the anchors, a hydration partner, yeah, and sure. they'll offer hydration, uh, water to all the three teams. That's the under 19, 17, and 15. Then King's College Buddha is going to have their jersey. They actually launched it. It's sting similar to the one that made the EPC jersey as Jessa. So I don't know about the small school along the Temer Road. <laughs> I don't know what is most the roadside road 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 school. Road. The small roadside school along the table. We'll, we'll, we'll host Caesar. We'll have to host Caesar. To Caesar. Rebut. <laughs> I don't know, man. We can't speak for them. We need to give them a smack episode and they sort themselves out as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, did. Okay. Um, I'll speak to, in regards to the expectations, I'll speak only about the local scene. Uh, we, we want the semi pro and all that. I think. We need first win. We need first win. When did you get the last win? Uh, Elgon Cup. By the way. Yeah. One thing, when I was in, when I just joined the national team, they would say, the coaches would tell you guys, you can't, in order to receive, you have to give. So, what I really want, one, I want us to take part in the World Cup, and I really hope to be part of that team, which takes part in a 15s rugby world Rock cup up. that's amazing for me locally that is my dream my, and i i'll put whatever i have to meet that dream so me, yeah. locally that's it for me personally i think uh, health is key and just like the interventions that are being made world over 
um, identify, withdraw the player in case they're having a suspected head collision, nasty. So it's crazy. And I think uh, health medical is important. So I want to be present and witness a full, uh, fully uh, funded medical kind of program where the rugby players don't have to worry about surgeries, health concerns, and where they can access quality health care. Then internationally, man, bro, I saw people at the Sevens World Cup in Cape Town. Edwin. We, we I, need to make that a thing, man. We need to have the fat cats go for one of these things, yeah, these seven things. The fat the cats fat experience. Cats, yeah. We really I need to do it. Actually, Which one is I, in the US? And this is Good luck getting that visa. <laughs> <laughs> US may be Dubai. Dubai. But, bro, we target the next Dubai. Perhaps Dubai sevens, but I really want to go watch the Stormers. I love the Stormers, man. I want to be at the DHL Stadium in Cape Town and watch my Stormers boys. Anyway. Uh, do yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about safety of players and all that. I want to know what your opinions are in regards to the citation officer. It has been trending this week. Yeah. <laughs> in regards so, to I can I can I can just give my few thoughts on that. Yeah, Edwin. But these guys can't talk, they will be banned. <laughs> You'll be cited as well yeah, for yeah. So, yeah. spreading. We propaganda. avoided that intentionally, but oh, really? yeah. that, so Edwin can yeah. say something. The me the citation thing more like trying to throw this bottle and make it balance for both interests the interests of the team that were <laughs> the interests of the team that that were subjected uh to the like tackle, lawyer, man. Make it so and simple. then and then the the aggressors huh. the ones who actually aggressor is given right Yes, yes, you're in class, Dungo. I told you you're sharp. You're sharp. Guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so it's um they need to balance those two interests, I think was what guided and also the fact of uproar. There was a lot of uproar considering one, it was live and televised, and um the fact well it was it is a miracle that the player managed to continue playing and um even okay. even managed to square try. Which 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 was it a try? But I mean, kudos to his effort for doing that. But me, I think that uh, citation one and the ban one may be welcome because it helps players know that they are being watched at all times. Especially that one club that plays funny rugby. <laughs> yeah, those guys I keep talking about. Even almost just about them. It, there is no glory in, in injuring players. I remember, there is no glory, yeah? You get it. That's why I like don't, playing don't rugby. Don't ask the players. <laughs> well, well, it's that's, just three of us now. Like, that's why I like playing. Not, like, I'm not a player really, but yeah. well, you know what I mean. So, I like a game against Pirates. I like a game against a club like Rhinos. You get it. I like a game against a club like Buffaloes. But there are those EPs is good. Fine. Yeah, those funny teams that have those funny acts, at milking, at doing what? That's rubbish. It feels disrespectful. You get, you get what I mean, Makumbi? You get, <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Anyway, uh, before we quickly get into this weekend's fixtures, I want to just ask these two gentlemen each one okay. question. And... Uh, about 30 seconds for you to answer it because we're losing a lot of daylight right now. Uh, I'll start with you, Didi. Okay. Just walk us through, in summary, how France was for you, being a rookie. Uh, 30 seconds. It was not easy. I was an old rookie. <laughs> uh, so you see people that you send for, who you send to get you water, now sending you for water. It wasn't really all that. Then the type of rugby uh, that the coach loved wasn't exactly my strong suit. And some people asked why uh, I wasn't. I didn't get as much playtime as I anticipated. That was part of it. So, but it was a good experience. Uh, I would like to give shout outs to the leaders, the players, the player leaders. That's Ivan, Scott, Uhuru, Philip. Philip. Uh, but mainly to Scott. Scott was very good both on and off pitch. Because when the butterflies are getting to you, he had, you know, he, you will see experience. He will tell you what to do and just like that, they are gone. But that aside, everything was kawa, including the food. 
Makumi. Who do you think your uh, who would you consider as your hardest opponent that you have faced so far in your rugby journey? My hardest opponent. Uh, you first in my hardest opponent. Okay, uh, it's funny, but I would say Brian Dong. Eh, I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. But again, uh, during, during my days in Buffalo's, same you be play, playing Cubs, eh? he's one guy that you don't mess with. He's going to tackle you, he's going to hit hard, and he would look for anyone, small, big, anyone. He will just come to you. Uh, I think that has been my okay. hardest opinion. And um, we we see you play at lock and at flank. Which one would you consider your natural position? My natural position is flank. flank. That's why he made those many tackles and got a man of the match performance. Well, Who knows, my guy? Oh, by the way, let's also clap for ourselves. We are getting so much traction online. People love our content. Out of applause. All right, guys. Um, before we we now real real get into the fixtures for this weekend, which I'll give you Dungu to go through. Yeah. This is uh, a bit of quick fire. I just mm-hmm. want okay. an immediate, possibly one-worded answer. Um, team you hate to lose to, in the in your league, in the local league. Rams. <laughs> team you hate to lose to. Evans. Understandably, uh, if not rugby, what sport would you be playing? Badminton. Swimming. Interesting. Uh, cooking or ordering out? Ordering. Cooking. He's a love guy. Mm, lover boy. I think uh, the ladies that are watching, you know where to, to, to shoot your shot. Legends or Chadondo? Ladies. But they are frozen. Legends or Chadondo? Are you? Uh, you said ladies. Uh, uh, legends or Chadondo? Don't think. Hey, I'll kill you. Let's go! Listen, listen, I tell you. Edwin, quick fire for me. Do you have a quick fire question for me? <laughs> it is not a shot. No, 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 no. I'll just say the ribs are coming. That's all I'll say. We'll ask for, for TikTok. Let's we'll ask for TikTok. Let's get into the fixtures now. Yeah, um, guys, we have a huge game weekend upon us, and the guys that here, Makumbi's team. That's the Cubs will be playing at Chadondo. Oh, Makumbi, it's a special game for you. Your current team is playing your first team. The team you played for first. Yeah. Buffaloes. It's Buffaloes hosting the Cubs. Then, Side uh, chick, main chick. Ex <laughs> <laughs> and current. Yeah. The, the heathens are visiting. Are on the road to Ginger. So you know that whole band and the name. No fans in the st- in the, in, on the rugby grounds. That's correct. Um, we have Rhinos hosting the unbeaten Ipis at Legends. That's quite a nice fixture. That's 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 the game of the weekend. I promise, yeah. That's the game guys should watch. Guys, watch Rhinos hosting Ipis. Then in Makere, Rams, the fishermen now. Uh, fishermen, milkmen. <laughs> the dairy men. No, they're not the dairy guys. <laughs> are hosting Walukwa Barbarians. That's another game of that's the weekend a, as well. Yeah. It's a crazy game, bro. Uh, then the plus one mongers are hosting DD's team. That's a game that will be televised Saturday 3 p.m. in Eteme. Mongers are playing those guys of DD. Yeah, DD. Is Adiga still there? He's going to play. Adi's back. So he's number one, you're number three. I hope, I hope oh. our, one of our fat cats, one of our fat cats will you can get to play. <laughs> Timothy. I think much he's. Love. I don't think he's. He will be much ready for that one. It's such a big game. Yeah. Final words, Ruben. Yeah, uh, I think I'll let you guys start with the final words and I'll close it off. Maybe starting with you. No, no, our guests. Okay, let's start with the guests. Yeah, right. did it. Uh, it's your first time here. Have you loved it? We've given you cupcakes. Tell the guys, tell them ambiers. The ambiers, everything is nice. Tell people to come, man. <laughs> tell people about the Fat Cats pod- podcast. Yeah. Who doesn't know about the Fat Cats podcast? It's on every platform Spotify, Subscribe, YouTube. Subscribe, like, like, share, uh, comment. Where, where did you? Where did you? Anyway, uh, quickly, uh, this weekend is going to be a tough one. Uh, Mongas is the team that plays Kashera, Bang Bang. So it's going to be a hard one. We're not going to take it for granted. May the best team win. 
And Matthew those are your final words for today. Those are my final words for if, today. If you had uh, one message for the world, what would you say? Use me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Alkem Makumbi, baby. tell us. Uh, first of all, I would uh, I'd like to thank all of you guys who called me up for the podcast. Uh, it's an amazing experience. I enjoyed the cupcakes, I enjoyed the talk, and I enjoyed being here. Uh, Saturday, it's going to be an action packed weekend. Uh, we're playing Buffalo Zitra, is good to be back home. Eh? And uh, the Buffaloes, Buffaloes, Buffaloes. Okay. <laughs> Edwin, anything you want to say, you want to get off your chest before we close? These two guys told me in different instances. <laughs> <laughs> this guy told me in high school his first training session when he came from SMAC. Yeah. I was there. Was the day is new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you, you and Mugan. <laughs> Mugan had an airs Roma jersey. And this guy told me when he played Buffalo's at Chadi. But I'm way past that, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this, I mean, this week had a lot of, um, should I say, com- communications from the union yeah. in respect to foul play and um, banning of fans in Ginger. It's good to see that there is some sort of accountability on um, uh, one from the union itself trying to ensure that clubs control players and fans. Uh, we did note that Ginger Hippos made uh, um, issued out a, a disciplinary punishment to their fan, but the union I think took it a step further and banned him for like I think a year or something like that. So it goes to show that uh, acts of uh, hooliganism in rugby are not going to be tolerated. Then aspects of players engaging in foul play have been addressed. Uh, me. On my end, I still I still think that these decisions of burning are just covering up the the bad refereeing that that occurred in those games. When I say bad, doesn't mean they are not competent, but it means that they are not seeing what is going on on the pitch, and they are not working as a team to identify these actions. I do believe if there was some some sanction given in some instances i i do believe the sanctions would have been lighter or man sanctions depend on our our, our discretionary so you dish out a sanction depending on the severity of the incidents now that begs the question i was talking with one of my rugby guys and he was saying that does that mean that any fan who records any funny thing and just post it on social media will be a like an adjudicator saying that oh actually there's this video because I have a video actually from the weekend where a, a Rams player really, really took out a guy on the rack and it was very unfortunate. It wasn't really serious as the, the flagged off um, incidences that have attracted bans. But it goes to show that, that people still believe in foul play and they believe it to be cool. Or like a guy in a mukubye, something like that. So it, it goes to say that, goes without saying that the players themselves now need to look into their behaviors on the pitch and keep the game clean yeah. and ensure that um, going forward that there is no foul play. Yeah. I mean, on the national team, we don't notice those instances, but maybe because people are watching, but when it comes to the clubs, that should stop. Yeah. My final words, guys, um, I'm so happy. I had so much energy for this week. I feel, I feel like you guys have gotten a portion of it. It only gets better. Just keep subscribing, liking our podcast. Feel um, humbled to be among us, these great, great, great gentlemen. Praise goes back to God. And um, lastly, guys, this weekend, look out for Ireland in Dublin against France. If France win that game, keep a keen eye on, a keen, a keen eye on those guys, yeah? Because they salvaged the narrow victory against Italy. If France win that game, keep a huge eye on them in the World Cup. Count them in. If Ireland win that game, uh, goes to show that they are still strong favourites for the Six Nations. Much love, man. Okay. Yeah, I think the gentlemen have said it all. Um, another great week of uh, great conversations, really. 
and we always appreciate the guests that we can, we, we bring here and also just when the fat cats are around talking about uh, candid rugby conversations as uh, Joseph Dungu has said um, just keep subscribing to our various platforms uh, following us and so much conversation going on otherwise thank you for uh, keeping with us for another episode of the fat cats podcast we yep. shall see you next week fat cheers was crazy yep cheers thanks for having us thank you hey guys I have a date I know. One hour? Yeah, he's a late by an hour. I kept looking at the time. Wait, you see? Yeah. So that's, Wait, what, that's, what, you call, that's what you call your right hand. No, he had a date. <laughs> <laughs>